guys, Ginger Cook here. It's Monday. Woo we're going to be painting again. We're going to do an acrylic painting. This time it's going to be a snow scene. Something kind of fun, kind of, you know, kind of a start maybe before winter really sets in here in the States. And some lucky participant who's watching our uh, premiere live show. If you enter, you have a chance to win the painting I'm doing, this original painting. And we also have a Salvador paint set that uh, is going to go to some uh, worthy home, part of the drawing we'll be having. And um, so stay tuned to find out more stuff, some of the uh, great new things that are coming up our Art Academy, as well as some tips and tricks you didn't know you wanted to know. See you in a sec. Ginger Cook, the queen of color, with a blazing brush at the speed of light, and a blank canvas, and a hearty yes and yes. The queen of color, Ginger Cook, and her sidekick, John Little, teach you to paint with acrylics. So, Ginger, you're going to tell me tips and tricks I didn't know I wanted to know. Yes, John. You see, here's our little cabin. This is our little cabin snow scene, our little photograph. Okay? Oh, I love it. And it's got all the snow in the background. It's just a very, it's what you'd think maybe you'd start with a white canvas, but we're starting with sort of a purple canvas. We could have started with a dark gray. I thought I'd do the sort of mauve purple color. Um, these are the, if you're wondering what I'm holding here, these are the labels that go on the Salvador paints. And speaking of that, this is the uh, paint kit that um, someone will be drawing, will be having a drawing for tonight, the Salvador Acrylic Paints. And those will be the ones I'll be using, with the exception of the Titanium White from Golden and perhaps even the Van Dyke uh, Brown on the Fluid for some little detail on the branches. You'll, uh, the set comes with uh, 12, um, 12 brushes and 24 tubes of paint plus an extra tube of white and a sponge and a palette knife and a little palette, you know, which we think, uh, we, we feature these on our Monday show because we get a lot of new paintings, uh, new painters, people that are just starting out, don't have a big budget, and um, when you're just starting out, if you're willing to paint small, these are Paramount um, uh, canvases that come from Jerry's art of rama um, they don't pay us anything to say this, but, you know, we're happy to share what we get. We usually just cover them with something. We have a whole stack of these we use. So if you're new to the channel, that's what this is about. And um, <clears throat> we find that if you're going to paint something, you'll paint it small first. You get a good idea of your design, then see how it goes. So if you decide later to paint this and decide to make it a vertical, it's not going to work right. Huh, just preempting that. Um, <laughs> so we do We do have folks who like to do that to us. All, all the time, all the time. And then they wonder why. I can't understand why the painting didn't work. Well, because it's designed this way, okay? <laughs> um, uh, anyway, these labels um, are to go with the, with the paints, and you can find the free template on gingercookstore.com if you would like to download that. And where would they find that, John, on the store? It's not on the front page. Where is it? Um... You know, you always ask me the tough questions. <clears throat> I know. It's not exactly on the front page, so this is why I'm ask, asking it. I think if you go under the listings and do all products, so you can find it under all products. Thank you, John, because I, I knew that there was a little confusion before yeah. about that, and so I thought we'd clear that up. want to give a shout-out to our happy moderators who are here to help the live show go smoothly. To facilitate. Facilitate, yes. And just kind of a, a word to the wise, no politics. Uh, we're trying to keep it. We're trying to keep the conversation about painting. Okay, that's kind of it, right? We that's what we politics do. We, we paint here. That's what that's what we're doing here tonight. So let's let's you know, and we're happy to answer. If you have a paint question, um, uh, you can put it in big caps. And if John happens to see it, our moderators happen to see it, somehow it might get to me. I cannot see the chat at all. So um, she's a visual artist. She doesn't read. Well, I mean, I'm doing this. Uh, there's no computer in front of me, okay? So there's no, no no computer in front of me, so I'm doing this, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. I, I know I've doing. got some trees kind of coming up this way, some big trees. That they're doing this, and then there's another one that's kind of crossing over there like that. And this is the one in front. There you go. There's our three trees, and then we've got our, um, our little... Uh, 
a barn here with the double roofs, which is nice. Yeah, and a little porch. And um, in some ways, this kind of reminds me of Pop's gas station with the way this is. It's called a, it was called a tin barn. This is a little longer here. It's got a little tin roof. Little tin roof. So this comes down like this, and then like this, and like so, and then there's some sort of snow that's piled up around here like yay. Yes, yes, and yes. It's kind of what we got, right? Kind of cute, yes. Kind of comes up more like that, and then, then down, zoop, zoop. And then along here, on the inside of here is like a uh, little porch. How adorable, yes? Yes and yes, huh? Yes, and yes and yes. And so we got, um, and you don't really see this side of it because there's all there's like some pine trees and stuff. So in order to get this background to look snowy, I'm um, gonna take a little um, zinc white. We're gonna try a couple different ways. All right, I'll show you some different ways we can do that. Here's a, well, this is actually titanium. Let's use that. Let's put a little of that out there. And. Um, um, I'm going to show you like on, on on this one. Well, this is a little black canvas. I'll show you one here. There's different ways we can do it. We can take a dampened toothbrush, all right, like that, dampen it, and then maybe put a tiny bit of water into the zinc white, or you could use like a, one of the fluid whites, and then we're going to tap it off. See that, like that. Then I'm going to hold it at an angle, and I'm just going to spray some snow in the background. See how I'm doing that? That works. I could do that. I'm, I, that's I've ruled that out. I'm just, you know, that's all right. Now the other way we could do it is uh, maybe I would dampen a sponge. Okay. And um, lots of different ways to do this kind of thing. And wring it all out like a little sea foam sponge here. And I might do this. See that? And that's sort of a little bit heavier. See that? But there you go. Just kind of turn it around in different directions and just straight down and kind of pop it down like that. That may, it might be a way to get some snow. And that does work. And then you could take like a palette knife after you did that, scrape it very flat, and indicate some branches kind of in the background. that were covered in snow. Kind of covered in snow, and then they were all in the background. So, you know, the trick is, before I decide on the picture how to do it, I want to do sort of a practice. Say, so, well, would that work? I'm not doing the main branches. These are just the background. And then what if I then went over this with a toothbrush and push that further back? Kind of like a combo. Kind of like a combo thing. So that, I think that, I like that. So that's, that's uh, step one is we're going to just come along here like this behind here and uh, remember the toothbrush has to be damp and uh, this is it's a funny uh, it's amazing you have to hold it at the right angle and we'll just snows are coming snows are coming now I could have done the the damp part but uh, uh, the sponge part but if I do it on top of the dots which I can do, just barely touch it. I'd have to come in here like that, just to give it a little bit more coverage like that. Okay, so there's my background. You don't have to get too too crazy, right? Then I could take some of the white here and suggest there's some branches back here. Just on the edge, just put it put it on the edge of the palette knife. Okay, we could we could do that. And that, that, that sort of implies now we haven't done the real main branches yet. Now the other thing we could do then if we wanted to I think that's pretty good, but I could take um the toothbrush again, I'll dampen that, and just kind of hide those 
fat branches in the background. You see what I just did? All right, so I just kind of said this coming along the side here. I'll just do this side over here. I don't have to get too clever of this, where the trees are. So far, so good. Yeah, okay. That works right, right in here like that. That's all right. So then the thing to do would be to let that just sit and dry for a minute. So do we have any questions, um, John? Uh, nothing I've seen come across, boss. Well, we got a little group out there today for us, or yeah, we, we have a little group. Three hundred sixty-nine souls have joined us this evening. Well, that's cool, you guys. Why, well, since you've joined us, I want to just mention that we have some other great uh, snow uh, paintings on uh, YouTube. This was one we did last year with the golden effect of the purple snow in the gold background, you know. This is a YouTube uh, tutorial. This is another um, YouTube tutorial of, of old barn and um, snow. So we've done a few. We've got a, actually quite a few. You just have to, you know, winter or snow or something under the search our search uh, playlists, and you'll find quite a few of the snow uh, paintings that we have tutorials on how to do snow. There's so many different ways to paint snow, and for instance, this was one we had in our academy. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting is a separate arts school online that John and I do, and, it, and how you join is you go to Ginger Cook Live, uh, dot gallery, and then look at the sign-up page, and we have over 500 tutorials um, above and beyond whatever YouTube ones we've done that are available from very beginner to advanced. Now, if you feel like you're just a beginner and you you don't want personal art coaching or you and because that one does come with personal art coaching, you can go to our beginneracrylicartist.com and um, and look at the the, the the beginner and intermediate lessons. But all both sites have them, and they and we're there f to help you. Okay, so those are some um, some. Something I just wanted to introduce you to in case you didn't know, which is kind of kind of cool in itself. Yes and yes. And let's see, I'm letting that dry for a second. Um, I wanted to say, so you're saying, well, just in case um, you wanted to, um, wondering what, well, what are, what's some of the new stuff you guys are doing in the academy? Um, we do a lot of different things. Uh, none of nobody's seen this one yet. This is our one of our newest tutorials that will be released. Oh, fairly soon and um, it's from one of our old dead artists um, and I love the candle wax don't you love this this is a, a, a this tutorials coming up it's fantastic you guys did it part of our book series and uh, let me just do you guys remember that um, last year for fall in our Academy did you back out pretty much far on this last year in our academy uh, this is a painting that uh, came from inspired by our trip to Canada when we did a cruise last year to Canada and um, and I love it with the, the the two people sitting at the table in the fall I and mean, this is the kind of time and this was one of our most popular tutorials and so we we added yesterday we just completed the companion piece to go with that you ready drum roll please and here it is, mm. uh, this creek, and this will be in our Wave and Water Masterclass, and it, but both of these really go to, can you see how they, they would be uh, perfect companion pieces if you want to, um, you know, do a couple for, you know, hang on the wall, you know, that go together, and anyway, this, I'm very excited about this, it's a different kind of way to paint rivers and falls and all that stuff and fall scenes and so that will be in our wave and water a master class every month they get a new painting and this will be for October which is not that far away anymore is it I'm afraid not my queen it's pretty close right so that's, be knocking that's on the door. some of the stuff that we're doing in the Academy which I wanted to mention and we'll show you some other stuff later on let's see if we didn't get this dry enough to keep painting what do you guys think all right so um, if I was going to just start with a dark color, um, I think I want want um, um, burnt umber and uh, probably probably ultramarine blue. She didn't give me that one, did you? Here it is. Burnt umber and ultramarine blue. If you don't have black, they make a very nice uh, brown. I don't want that 
brush. I want this one. Okay. Mm. Here we go. So I want to start with sort of the interior of our, of our barn here. And I want to say that I want something very dark in here, like that. And we're going to say that this is just going to kind of cover the inside here. Like so. That's, that's another trick. If you're trying to get a very dark color, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, make a very, very, very dark brown. Good to know. Yes and yes? Absolutely. So that, I mean, and that's, I think that's important. So we know that, for instance, there's a little section of the roof here that's, uh, so I thought this would be a, uh, you know, kind of a, you know, John, I thought this would make a very nice um, holiday card. Some of you may be deciding, um, you know, uh, what you want to do for the holidays as far as uh, maybe painting something for somebody or sending it. And I, I thought this would be a good oh, one for that. Choice. Absolutely. And so, so that's why we're doing it now. I'll give you a little bit of time to get her done. And, and that is one thing that we do let you print. You don't yeah. have to paint them all up. Your original. Christmas card, yeah. We're, we, yeah, we let Holiday you do that. Holiday cards you can print from your paintings with yeah. our blessings and permissions. Yeah. So, um, and then here's a, we've got a tree that's coming down here like this, coming off the canvas. This one's sort of sneaking it up here like this. Ginger, what product and shine level do you use to finish your acrylic paintings? Well, you know, for years, the, my favorite one is Liquitex um, Gloss Medium and Varnish, and I think they're now calling it Gloss Medium. Yeah. Though they do have a medium, and they do have a Gloss Medium and Varnish. I think they might have dropped one. They just combined it into one. Well, I'm not sure about that, John, because one was very, very flat, and the other was thicker. When, ah. it says, when it says Gloss Varnish, it's very thin. And when it says Gloss Medium and Varnish, it's very th thick. It's it has the word medium. It's thicker. So, mm. so from that standpoint, I'm not I'm not sure what they've done then. Not not sure. Um, I still got a bottle of the and last time I bought it. I bought it. I, I, we, got, we buy the big size, and it was still what I was used to getting. Yeah. So, all right. So we've got these trees here. This was all pretty, you know, simple, right? So far. So far, so good, right? And I think we'll put we'll just uh, we'll just add the tree back over here like this. In this. And speaking of Salvador Prince kits, um, Canada has got new pricing now. It, they have got it to a proper level. So if somebody in Canada can head over to Amazon and let me know what they see. Uh, I was working with Lynn, I think last night or the night before, and she found it. It was at twenty nine ninety five instead of the sixty nine that it was. And when it was first introduced in Canada, they have finally worked at worked it out with the Canadian folk. Well, boy, that's about time, isn't it? Uh, Kelly says, Ginger, I use golden paint. Congratulations. What would you use to mix a good lime green? Well, lime green is, um, if you're talking about moss green, then you'd use ultramarine blue. But if you're talking about lime, like a, like a lemon or a lime, that one, you would use the phthalo blue, white, and red, and, and yellow, and, um, uh, and cad yellow medium, or cad yellow light would be good too if you want it brighter. Cad yellow light; those would be the colors that I would recommend. Start with that and fine tune. Yeah. See, so already you're going. Well, that's kind of cool, right? I mean, we've got um, we've got some trees in the background here. We're keeping it fairly simple. There's an old log back here that I guess is here, and then there's uh, some sort of flat area here where. Uh, maybe the snow hasn't, you know, melted a little bit, and uh, maybe I'll just do something like that. So basically, back to your question, uh, who was that, Janet, asked about the shine. We mo mainly use gloss. And we use the, and the, the trick is, we have a video on YouTube on how to varnish, and John's done several on the Tech Bear. And basically, if you do not use, if you don't use the correct brush direction, you've ruined your painting. So trust me on this, if, you know... You've got to watch those videos because I, I, I've seen people absolutely ruin a painting varnishing it because they didn't understand about brush direction. And our favorite one is the Ultimate Varnish Brush by Silver. 
Um, if you have one of those, John, I'll show it. That's, Which that's one? I'm sorry? the ultimate varnish brush. Oh, you want to borrow one of my brushes? I want to show it. I'm not going to paint with it, right? Yeah, I'll so. give you the one that I have used for painting. I got three of them. Okay. Because we do so much varnishing that I use them in rotation. We get ready for a big auction. Oh, speaking of auction, we got one coming up shortly. It's going to be in October. John just said in case he was, he's muttering out there in case you missed No, him. they can hear me. Can they hear you? I'm walking around with my microphone. Of course oh. they can hear me. Okay. <laughs> I'm important. Good. All right. You can hear John, and that's that's good, right? All right. This is, oh, wait, he's throwing things. This is called the <laughs> Ultimate Varnish Brush. And why? Um, uh, what, by Silver. And they're not inexpensive, but we tell you if you go to thebrushguys.com, use my name, Ginger Cook, all one word. When you check out, you get 5% off any of the brushes you buy, and if they still have these in stock, they're hard. They, these sell out fast. They're, they're like the varnish brush. Var a lot of times what happens is you, someone says, what do you varnish a brush with? Before I discovered these, we had something like a brush sacrifice. You'd have, you want a soft <laughs> brush. You don't want one so cheap you're going to lose hairs in your picture, but you want a soft one. And you, the, and the varnish never totally washes off, and then you, eventually the brush is gone and you get another one. So I was never willing to spend a lot of money on a varnish brush for those reasons. But this, the varnish comes out of these. I've never seen a brush wash so beautifully. Liz uh, uh, left hers in a plastic bag. Thinking she'd come back to and, it. And, and it was hard as a rock. And, um, and she was able to um, use, uh, I think, rubbing distilled alcohol, right? Anyway, she, she was able to clean it. The brush came back. These are, and she said, oh, my gosh, Ginger, have you been telling me for two years? Two years, I told Liz to get one of these brushes. Oh, no, I just, I just don't want to spend the money. Well, you know, how much time did you put in that painting? Yeah. What's your, what's your painting worth at the very end? You want to screw it up? I wouldn't think so, but, you know, there. That's my speech. Nobody cares. Yeah, hold your britches. I'm still working on a question. Okay. Do you dilute, do you do do you dilute the varnish be, with water before you apply it? No, you no. can, but we do not. Well, no, I do not. And then Golden's wants you to do that, and then you have to have. Oh, so Golden much, has a whole the whole they, formula. They, they, yeah, theirs is really complex. I wouldn't yeah. even attempt theirs. No, I don't, yeah, they, they have a whole thing, right? How do you clean your varnish brush? Go to the Tech Bear. When I did a video on the, there's one up there that shows you how to clean it. Really easy to clean. Are you going to have a marathon auction in October? Yes, and I have selected a date because the Queen hasn't committed, so I'm committing us now to October 16th. Okay. October 16th, and we'll start advertising that and getting ready for that. So October Will 16th. Would that be one of those marathon that, live That's going to be a marathon live show. We start the show usually at what four? Yeah. Four Central Time, and we we'll go to about midnight. We, we we get her to paint for about eight hours. We get about 12 paintings done. I say we. And we auction them <laughs> off that day. And they get auctioned off, and the auction runs for a few days. So look, look, look for more details on that. Yes, Canada pricing is now at $29.99, where it should be. Excellent. Thank you for checking. I have used a spray varnish. I have used um, Golden, so it works very well. But it's just such a mess to do that. Yeah, the, 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 the spray, if you're doing something with a lot of, of texture in it, and impasto, you know, with the, lots of bumps and textures, that golden spray varnish is nice, but you can't, you don't want to breathe it, you don't want to do it in the house, maybe in the garage. You've got to be careful if you do it outside, you don't get flies in your stuff. Um, you know, there's... And there's, bug slime, but it's just, it's just too, too risky. Um, how do you mix a green for eucalyptus leaves? I don't know what color they are. Well, eucalyptus leaves are great, are great green. Oh, we, yeah. They're, they're great green. Very so, similar to what she's so already you got would, on her you barn would, right now. So, great green. Um, yeah, you, want, you would want to put red in it. Yeah, get a green and add red to it. You know, cad Teeny, red medium bit. probably is, is, is probably what you want to do. And um, I'm not sure this was a good way to do this, John. Do um, what? There, I'm going to just... Um, I thought you would peel the labels down and put them down. So I ran out of time. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, I had no idea what you thought, so... <laughs> good to oh, my. So, needless to say, we didn't get our labels down today, but there they are. Burnt sienna. I would never use a varnish brush for anything but varnish. 
Well, that one that I have there that has a little orange tip on it, I have it for other things just to yeah, see how it would do. Cinnamon uses it for all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I can't well, get you, it to But behave. you want to have one that's dedicated to varnish for sure. Oh, absolutely. Sure. So I've got two that are purely varnish that's two, only touched. They're nice for other things, too, yeah. but we keep one for, for varnish. But trust me, they, they're they nice for other things, too. Yeah, you got to be brave. Hmm? you got to be brave. You just have to learn how to clean a brush. I mean... It works. You see, very easy to clean a brush. What I've been using lately is the Art Sherpa brush cleaning soap, which is excellent soap. I, I'm assuming she still has it. Yeah, I like, think she does. And, and that's, if that's she does, then tell her to start making it. That is like it again. the best soap ever, right? Yeah. It is excellent. Is it mandatory to varnish? I have not varnished yes. any of my paintings. Well, yes, of course it is. <laughs> It's really not done. Well, it, but it just, it, it's mandatory to varnish because what the varnish does is it seals your painting. And, and protects um, it so and you it, wipe and it, it off. It, it, you can then wipe it off with a rag. It seals it. And it's like, it, it, it's polymer. So it molecularly binds with all the other little molecules on your painting. And it's one, it's absolutely there forever. It's not something you remove. But if now, if you don't want... Um, uh, if you don't want shine, right? Um, okay, I don't know what that is. If you don't want like a shiny surface, then you, when when you've done the gloss, then you can go back over it after it dries with a, a matte coat, and then t tone it down if you want. Okay. But that you know that's um. Uh, okay, hold on a second. Oh, I have to turn so yeah, that's a, that would be the answer to those questions. Oh. Um, this is um, what okay. yellow was this? this have you ever a, heard of hoar? I'm going to say hoar frost. Yeah, it's but a, I. It's a grayish white crystalline deposit of frozen water vapor formed in clear, still weather on vegetation. Mm -hmm. How would you paint it? I don't know. How would you paint it? <laughs> have I'd give no up. I'd have to have, an, I'd have to have a. I'd have to have um We would have to look at that and study that one. We'd have to one. look at it and see, you know, just, you know. I couldn't tell you on that one. But, um, yeah, but that's all right. Uh, okay. There Any we go. Don't you, think it, don't you think that added a little bit to put somebody home? Well, I, I would assume that the light is on because he's working on his tractor. Is that what you think? Yep. It's interesting what John thinks about things. Isn't it fun? <laughs> All right, so that's what John thinks it would be. Oh, i got to get the link done for the kids. Everybody wants their link. I had a question okay. earlier. I forgot it. So you're going to get it with no question tonight. Um, the thing that here's a trick about when you're painting snow, don't have such a straight line on the roof. Um, you know, it gets across the bottom. Don't have don't have a perfectly straight line. That makes it look more snowy. And um, it's just kind of and the same thing here on top because it you know it kind of wants to pile. So it's kind of straight, but not perfectly. Does that make sense? And then like, and then the same thing here with this. This uh, I think this will be real cute, don't you? This this is turning out kind of oh, cuter absolutely. than you thought. It's kind of, kind of happy, isn't it? Kind of this little. Um, I think what it is is we all want to get away somewhere, don't you? Everybody wants to get away. Um, I mean, if you were stuck there, then you'd want to get away from that. But I mean, right now everybody's feeling kind of. I can't get away. I need to get away. You know. All right. So there's the, um, the start on that. And then if you wanted to, you could do a little bit of a shadow on this side of the like that a little bit of a shadow there on the so you got um just putting in a little bit of this of the boards here make them a little bit darker 
to go back. Okay. That's right. If you want the link, give a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'm not going to get it to you. I want to see 400 thumbs up before that link gets released. There's 480 of you out there. Come on now. I'm barely up to the thumb up. Come on, you can do it. Okay. So, um... Our barn had electricity, Judy, yes. You can have electricity in a barn. She thought it was on fire. Hmm. We'd like to thank Sandra for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Thank Absolutely. you very much, Sandra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so nice. Now, this is our second coat of paint on top of the roof. Like that, see there? That's just the first coat, but we had to have two coats, so let's do that again. Come on, I'm only seeing 297. Come on, people. Oh, you guys. Just a little button. Maybe some people are on a five phone and they don't know how to do it, John. Well, they better learn. If they want a link, they're going to figure it out real quick. Well, I didn't say everybody that was out there. I didn't ask for 480. I only asked for 400. I'm assuming 80 of them can't do it. All right, I'm going to turn it this way. Should yeah. I turn my camera to match you? I guess you could. I don't think I should. I'm going to start bringing the... See, that's what I mean. I need a camera that can rotate with you. I wonder if they make that, so a, kim a gimbal like that. Ooh. Yes, this is a Canadian cabin, absolutely. I think it could be a Canadian. Why wouldn't it be a Canadian cabin? It has cabinet, to be a Canadian right? cabin. I'm seeing 313. You guys are getting there. I know you can do it. A Canadian bacon cabin. <laughs> okay, not, we're not going to go that far. I like Canadian cabin, though. I think, that, I think we will rename it that. Canadian cabin. Yep. 317. Come on, people. Dig deep. Um, we're starting to put on a little bit of stuff. We don't. You, we got to show the piano, John. The piano is behind you. I can get it closer to when you when you're ready. Okay. Wait till you guys. We've got some. Um, if you guys remember, we did the garage, or rather the the garage. We did the guitar. <laughs> Um, we what the, that was in the garage. We did the guitar, right? Do you guys remember that? And uh, which has just been released for a downloadable. As we're prepping to move over. So those that aren't Academy members and want to do that, you can purchase that lesson. I don't know if I can get it there. I'm going to put it on this side, boss. Be very careful of it. I haven't scanned it yet. Okay. All right, so see, we just do a little bit of color on those trees. And we'll take a little bit of the dark color. And, um, wait a minute. I want a little bit. Okay, so then with, with these kind of trees, they've got the dark on the bark that comes around. Looking good. So those little trees are in the foreground. And um, so then we can kind of see where this is going. And again, I was going to put, you know, this was zinc white that I put out, John, I think. No, 
The first blob first, you put out was titanium. Was it? Yes. Okay. All right. Because I saw the tube. All right, I good. read it. Good. Did you? Because I'm thinking maybe it wasn't. Because <laughs> I keep thinking I need more paint up here. More, a little bit more white paint on my, my roof here. And I want some. 339 and we stalled. I can't believe it. Come on, people. 400. 59 to go. There's almost 500 of you out there. So you're starting to see how we might, how this might be put together, yes? And uh, I just thought it might be fun to fill this in while I could. And here's a little of the purpley color. You know, the snow is, um, this is pretty. Um, that doesn't look Naples. Yeah, this is just some it's just shadowy parts here. There we go. That's just everything kind of piles up if you, um, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've been there many a time, I tell you. It piles up. I, I don't miss it. I don't miss it one iota. You don't. Well, what well, is an you know, iota anyways? When, um, you know, Cinnamon uh, in, in, was born in Aspen, Colorado. And, um, in fact, I'll tell you a little story about her, unrelated to snow, but it, except that there's snow in Aspen. But she was the only kid at the Pitkin County Hospital there, there in Aspen only baby born and the story around town was you got to go up to the hospital and see this beautiful baby that was just born up there people went up to see her she's a bit of an anomaly and uh there weren't that many children you know she was sort of you know they didn't have that many you know kids born um all those those times Let's see i'm looking for a little angle brush and I want something a little bit, that one's kind of, kind of worn out. You know, they do wear out your little angle brushes. Yes, they do. So, they um, you forever. know, if you can't get the, when you can't, that there, that there comes a sort of a point of no return where you can't get the, um, uh, um, point back anymore. Okay. Let's just find some Then it becomes here. a scrubber brush for a while. Yeah. Find reds. All right, and reds and yellows. And if you're going for the brush, guys, and looking for the brush, you can look for Ultimate Varnish Brush by the Silver Company. It'll show up. Their site's not the friendliest by any stretch of the imagination. Well, they're not trying to be unfriendly. They're no. just not technically as savvy as others. Right. How's that? That's, that's a nice way to say it? Yes. That's, that's an excellent way to say it. You know, the, um, the guys that started the company um, were uh, were sweethearts, and uh, they were like, they kind of had worked for years for a paint company, and they retired, and they were, started this little brush company, and absolutely wonderful. This is what happens when you have a, a brush that's got a good... Um, uh, point on it. Now you can do some stuff, right? It just there we go. We got the. Gonna put a little bit of the orange in the window. There we go. Somebody's inside. Working on their barn. Working on their tractor. Can. And then maybe, maybe just it could happen. We don't know. Uh, maybe there might be a little light. Up here. Oh, absolutely. That might a be reflection type. Kind of reflecting on the snow. That's sort of fun. I mean, I you know, I haven't painted this before. We're sort of painting it together. I'm sort of thinking, thinking that might happen. That area you're on right there, that that's a pathway, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I saw. It looked like a path. I thought there could be a pathway to getting into the house that somebody wasn't so lazy they didn't shovel the snow, right? 
Oh, I can't believe we can't get a lousy, what, 42 to go? 42 more thumbs up. I can tell you what the secret word is. It won't do you any good, but the secret word is snow's coming. Are you trying to depress people, John? Yeah. <laughs> because I don't have to deal with it anymore. I put in my 30 years. Oh. I got released. Oh, yellow snow. That would have been a good one. Yeah, I'll take I yellow know. snow, too. Yeah, yeah. Yellow snow would have Everybody been Everybody needs the link for the giveaway. Until we get 400 thumbs up, you're not going to see the link. I'm so mean today. Cruelty to animals. Okay. Uh, interesting. <laughs> okay, so we got... Anne Marie, thank you for the super chat donation with the dancing dude. I think I want a darker a little window here. Okay, so um, I'm trying to do a few things without drawing, so I still have some more to do in the background. But it's I think he's I think it's coming along. Yes and yes. Yes and yes, yes and yes, yeah. absolutely. It's coming along. Yes and yes and yes, right? And um, now we've got this little brush. I think it needs a little lantern too, right here by the front door. Yellow really only paints over white. That's one of the things you want to know. Yellow only paints over white. So if you don't want yellow too bright, then then just don't put white with you know don't paint it over something real white, and it won't be as you know bright. Okay, so we've got that, and let's see, what else? Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to show you some stuff, and then we're going to let this dry for a second. Here's, here's where we are so far. Okay? Yep. That's where we are so far. And um, we'll, um, we'll keep going here. I want to uh, just uh, clean my hands off real quick. I was. Oh, take your time. You don't have to do it real didn't quick. put them back. What? Okay. The girls gave the link out early? No, the... Oh, those those moderators. Oh, my. Um, I'm sure that the accounting me? department will have a talk with you. All right. So you guys remember that you said you said that you remember how much you love the guitar, right? Oh, yeah, I remember that. So this is going to be the companion piece. It's 20 by 20, and this oh, will be minute. released soon. This is in the accounting... One of the reasons why you want to join the Academy of Fine Art Acrylic Painting, we have so many things for you to learn to paint. And you need to start with the basics, learn how to do all the stuff, and you can get there. Are you ready? You're backed out far enough? Yeah, I think so. I won't know until I get there. This is um, Julie Sonata. Oh, I love the name. And um, it originally was painted by one of our old dead artists from the 1800s. And we think it goes beautifully with the uh, with the lady with the guitar. We think that's really cool. So those are some, some of the new offerings for we, uh, we, we wanted to release this to in time for you to be able to do it because we thought this might make a very nice holiday gift for somebody and um, it might take you a little while to paint it. But um, anyhow, that's uh, for you music lovers out there, that's our one of our newest gonna be one of our new releases. This you know how long that one was? Twenty by twenty. No, what? How long it was? Uh, about five and a half hours, I think. Is that what it was? Yeah. About five and a half hours on that one. Well, there five she is. Five and a half hours. So if you're kind of looking for, you know, uh, um, you know. Four and a half. Four and a half. Okay. Yeah, four and a half. All right. So I think we're pretty we're pretty dry here. I can go ahead and. That was a fun one to do, though. Yeah. Well, well, I really. You know, it was a different artist than the man that did the guitar originally, the lady with the guitar, but they went so nicely together. I thought that that's what we could take away from that. This is some um, This is some golden, it's called Van Dyke Brown Hue, and it's very dark, and I've shaken it up, and I want to, you want, when you're trying to do very thin lines, Sometimes, and you don't want to water them down, you want the same color. So you, you've got 
This, this with a little dagger brush will allow you to How many box of cookies do we call that one? I think that was four and a half, or maybe it was a box of cookies. I think it was a box of cookies, John. That was a pretty pretty hard we one. We were debating. I think it's a box. So That would be a box of cookies and grab some milk to go with it. It has some challenging stuff, especially the dress. It has some challenging challenging things. A lot, a lot you can learn in there. Even if you don't paint it, you can certainly watch and learn. So this is a dagger brush. If you want the thin lines and then a fluid or a flow type paint, which is thinner than a soft body even. This would be a quarter size. Uh, what size is the dagger in Salvador? I'm not sure what theirs is. Probably, theirs is probably a quarter inch, but theirs is too soft for the way ginger paints. Yeah, I've got I've got one probably sitting around here, but that yeah. Um. And theirs isn't quite as a uh, as sharp of a point. Okay. So you'll notice I have to reload the brush quite often. Harder you push the fatter the line. So you're just talking about using very little pressure, go slow. Br branches tend to be uh, thinner as they, as they um, uh, come away from the um, whatever it is, you know, from the tree. They'll, they'll tend to be, they'll, they'll have a tendency to be uh, thinner. Okay, so we also um, like to thank Anne Marie again for the donation that came through PayPal. She likes to use both methods. Thank you, Miss Anne Marie. Greatly appreciate that. Who was the artist for the piano? Uh, I will tell you, in the, it's in the tutorial. We'll share yeah, that I with the chart. I, I certainly don't remember who it is. Yeah, we'll share that when you watch the tutorial. Sorry. <laughs> But it was one of it was one of our old dead guys. One he was buds. American. You know. Is there a Doc's purple in the Salvador kit? No, there's not a Doc Doc's. There's, no. Well, there is a purple though. There's a purple. It's a pretty purple, but it's not the same kind of purple. It's a different purple. Okay. So. Um, Now, I want to, on this one, on this branch here, I want to, um, particularly that big one, I want to make sure that I kind of soften that dark. Now, I need to put some snow on top of some of these branches. So, in order for me to do that, um, it wouldn't be a, a, a bad plan to have it um, uh, to have the um, the painting dry. What do you guys think, right? Just, it'd <laughs> just probably a thought, be, right? Yeah, it'd probably be easier to put that on. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it probably would be easier to put it on. And, and but yeah, so I'm gonna just dry this for a minute. You guys good with that? And, sure, we're we're good with that. We'll throw something up there for a second. Okay. We'll try. All right, go.
All right. I had to make sure that was good and dry. Yeah, it's good and dry. All right, now I'm going to shake up some of the white, fluid white paint um, for the same reason. Um, just put a little, you don't need much. I, I tell you, you can get by on these fluids with a, with something about this size. This is some sort of giant fluid. You don't really <laughs> need that, really. That just, because you don't use this very often. And, um, and it's nice, it's nice to have it. You don't, like I say, you don't use it very often. And um, make sure that you, so here we go. I'm going to just. Pamela says, hey, everyone, just had my first personal art coaching. It was awesome. So cool to have Ginger talking directly to you about your painting. Well, cool. I'm glad you liked it. Make sure you enter the contest if you'd like a chance to win this painting and or a Salvador paint kit. Now, do you see how it's starting to feel very... Um, now I'm just doing a few little white branches here. Snow's coming yuck. I'm listening to the, what they write in here for. Snow's, snow's coming, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I know I you guys. You. It's coming and... Um, it is yuck. It's always, it's, the first snow is always pretty. And then you start realizing, hey, wait a minute, I can start shoveling this stuff eventually. It's no longer pretty. Mm. Well, when, when we lived in Aspen, um, we had this little tiny Honda car that was like brand new. It was the first car Honda ever made. It was the like one a with the three motorcycle engine. Had a little engine motorcycle in engine in it. And Cole, <laughs> Cinnamon's dad was a motorcycle mechanic, so he felt he could fix that car, you know, kind uh, of like doomsday. He could keep the car fixed. And he kept that car fixed for years, and he bought other people's junked Hondas to keep that one going. But anyway, back in the day when it was new, um, I mean, if I got it stuck, so two people could pick it up and just move it, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. And what he would do is that we had this condominium with um, uh, very little parking on the front street. So we had like a little spot in front of our house and there was a car on either side of it. And he would, the, they would keep the roads uh, in Aspen. What they would do is they would, they made sure there was some snow on the roads for the tourists always. They, they could have sc scraped it bare. And you got down to, but they didn't feel that was wintry enough. So there's always snow and ice on the roads. And um, so he would drive up to the ha house and on the road, and then he would pull up the emergency brake, brake and spin the car around and slide it in between the two cars, front and back, and never hit them. And it made me crazy. I just, you know, because I thought, well, how are we going to pay for that if you hit them? You know what I mean? I mean, why well, would you, just you take don't hit them? Well, yeah, I know, you kept saying stuff. Well, you don't hit him, but it, I, I was never convinced he wasn't going to hit him. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It just, Did he ever hit him? No. Well? No, it's just like when he was, you know, her, her dad's kind of a snot. When, <laughs> when um, he, we, we were both, in those days, we were considered, like, really good skiers. I don't know, nowadays we wouldn't be, but in those days, people would stop to watch us ski on the hill. And um, we, we both had these sort of, real Russian Cossack hats on and, and Bogner uh, black parkas and and we we kind of dressed alike and we people could spot us as we were going down the hill and we skied every day. And how he had something called um, the, he had something called long thong bindings that in those days, I mean it's a long time ago, so, you know, back in 65, okay. Uh, so they had come out with a quick release binding. So if you fell down, it, your your shoe would, your boot would release out of the binding. You wouldn't break a leg. And by the time, um, you know, he and I were were skiing together, everybody, pretty much, had gone to that. But he still had these old what they called long thong, uh, uh, bindings, which were you know those long leather strap was wrapped around and around. Oh yeah. And stuff. You had this what they called the long thong. One that you would definitely not break out of. Yeah, and. Um, so I remember some tourist was uh, had seen him uh, getting on the chairlift, and of course he wanted to feel like he knew a lot. And, and he said to him, "Well, you you know those those bindings are just um, 
the worst ever, you know, you'll break a leg. And Colby looked at him and smiled, and he says, yes, but you have to fall first. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. And he never fell either, so yeah. that was true. And, and, and um, yeah, so anyway, it was a, it was a, um, it was an interesting, uh, uh, it was fun in those days. We, could, we, we lived a few blocks from the ski hill, and we had a, we had a, our motorcycles, and we could put, he made a little ski rack for the motorcycles. So they'd sit like straight up behind us on, on the motorcycles. So if we wanted to, um, uh, you know, get closer than the four blocks or whatever it was, we could ride over there and then park the motorcycles really close and, uh, and then go skiing. So that was, uh, we did that until, um, until Cinnamon was, when Cinnamon was born, we really stopped skiing. And um, and we really never uh, we he took up snowmobiling and other stuff. He, we didn't get into skiing. So because she didn't ski. Cinema didn't ski. She she went snowmobiling with her dad when she was little. But we left Aspen when she was like six. But um, uh, we had seen our friends' kids, because the kids could ski free when they were in elementary school, and then suddenly they couldn't. And then their parents were were. Ski tickets, even then, the, the, the ski tickets were expensive. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't they, make they sense. They were very expensive. And um, um, it's, I, no, I, and I, I just, you know, once you start them, you can't say, I'm sorry, we can't afford to let you ski anymore. Because it, 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 it really got prohibitive as far as, you know, skiing and that. Some of that got a little bit prohibitive so that's we kind of quit quit doing that um it's coming along though you guys don't you think that's a nice looking barn and remember this is a barn this is not a house it's not a cottage well, it's not a cabin it, it, but she's kind of making it i think I, th I just felt that it needed a cabin I mean, we remodeled it you guys <laughs> we remodeled <laughs> it yes and yes it was a cabin and and we thought well yes you could have a cabin but then all she'd have was a you know a little barn, but we, we we remodeled it. See how small you can get the lines though with the dagger brush. And notice that I'm, I'm resting my arm on something, because if you try to take your the you've got to have some pretty good strength in your arm to get this, unless you're resting it on something like a you know which is, yeah. oh I think we need some icicles. Um, she is finishing this up, folks, so if you want an opportunity, make sure you enter, like, post-haste. That means, like, now. Is that what that means? Yeah. That means do it. 287 entries. I think this could be a very uh, warm and friendly um, uh, card. Don't you think so? Christmas card? Don't you think so, John? Oh, absolutely. I think it could be. Hey, we'd like to thank Kim for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, Ginger, who makes the dagger brush you are using? Silver, silver brush. Silver brush <laughs> does. Silver brush does. Uh, that, I tell you what, their products are amazing. Um, they, make all of, they make all of the art tripper brushes. And, um, you know, with cinnamon, and um, I really like, I just generally like their brushes. I, there are probably some other companies that make good brushes. But I have to tell you, we have found these and... Um, kind of uh, latched on. Kind of latched on because we kind of, they, they just feel, you know, they work all the time. And they, the thing of it is, well, if you don't want your brushes to... Um, to wear out. You don't want your brushes to wear out. So it's just nice a little warm path going up to there. See how nice we are to the people that come visit us. <laughs> right? Yeah, but it's very really nice of us. I know. I tell you what, just just maybe there's something warm going on here. Is that the yellow snow? Yeah, it's just a little reflection from the oh, I see. light, you know, like that. But um uh yeah, I, I, could, I can see where... Um, it's a cute little cabin in the woods. 
Yeah. A they, Canadian they, cabin's in the woods. The thing about icicles is they're like upside down carrots. Oh, wow, that's good. They are. They're really like carrots hanging down out of ice. <laughs> so they're not just a straight line. In other words, they, they get fatter and whatever, right? Oh. Well, they are like ice. Don't you think they're like upside down? I, I you know, when I think of an icicle, I think of a carrot. Uh, see, there you go. That's exactly I think my of a point. white carrot. <laughs> see? <laughs> see? You'll never forget that. I'll now, never forget. The, hey, you want an icicle? Think carrot. Okay. It's kind of like, uh, what was the, uh, we were, you were doing what? With the A? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we were last night looking for lessons. You know, we do, we, we, we do this together. This is a joint project. We, we, you know, the queen is oh, running oh. the computer and she's bringing up, oh, look at this. Like, oh, this is a great one. Well, we can do this one. And she goes, oh, look at this one. This is fantastic, except for the birds. I go, what birds? And on the screen, unbeknownst to the queen of color, were particles of dust and dirt and chocolate. debris and chocolate that appeared to be a bird. They looked like a bird. It looked like a, just <laughs> looked like a bird to me, right? So that's why we had so many birds in all of our lessons for a while, because her screen had, had a permanent bird on it. Yes, parsnips. That's what they are. Parsnips are white. So those aren't carrots. Those are parsnips. No, because they're they're like a bulb. Parsnips, parsnips are, are not. They're like a carrot. Are they? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you've never eaten a parsnip either. Never. They're they're very delicious. Just the name alone would make you not want to eat it. A parsnip? Oh, they're good. They're very good. All right. So I put a red door on there because I thought that um, that was kind of fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> I had so much fun when you were doing that. I know you did. You just go ahead, make did fun. Did she miss a spot on the cabin underneath the thin window? You have a thin window? Oh, the little window there. What is under that? I guess I could put a little. Looks like chalk. Is that chalk? Did you chalk I this in? I don't know. I probably did some chalk on there, but let's just do something like that. There's a little chalk here. Okay. Make you happy? Yeah, there we go. All right, I think that's kind of about all she wrote on here. Well, that's all I wrote, because no one else wrote on here, right? So I don't know who the she would be, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't be Julie. She's playing her piano. You know, and part of me would put a chimney right there if I'd done it before the branches. But we didn't, so what? what can I tell you? We didn't, yes and yes. I think you did great. All right, folks, am I picking, boss? Yeah, go ahead and pick, John. I'll go ahead and sign this. I hope everybody had fun with this. Uh, Random.org. Here's, um, here's the reference in case anybody wants to see our reference. And how many people do we have? We got up to 311. Okay, did we get a bunch of likes, or did everybody give up on our likes? Oh, no, we got it. We got our 400 after we finally released it. Awesome. But it took us forever. I mean, they weren't giving it up. All right. We got winner, winner, chicken dinners here. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, these little Posca pens. That's the other thing you can use, too, is uh, Posca pens. If you didn't, for instance, have a dagger brush and you needed some of these fine line, the Posca pens, particularly the fine line ones, are really good. And, yeah, that's um, only they, they last forever. You know, one white pen should last you for months. Just make sure you snap. You can hear it. Can you hear this when I do this? You hear the oh, click? Oh, I did. Yeah, I heard you, it. You want to hear that click, and, and that's, that's sealed there. Um, I've used tons of paint pens over the years, and these are acrylic paint. And I love these so much because they never dry out on you. You know, if you keep them sealed, they don't they don't just happily start drying out. And uh, which I think is important, you know. And uh, we're just uh, we're excited that uh, all things are um, working out on in the academy. You guys, we're getting all kinds of great new lessons in. Um, it's been, it's been, I, I'm, we want to have some wonderful uh, things for the holidays, 
And I think that I think that that one painting of the um, um, I think this one painting. I want to talk about this one again. That's coming up. I I was gonna say. Oh, can you back out a second, John? Yeah. You're picking. I think this one that's coming up in the academy. I was gonna say you could make this any kind of book you wanted. Uh, it, it was in the original painting. It didn't have anything on there. But I think, for instance, if you were to put a very like right in there, you could put a cross maybe and turn that into a Bible. And uh, Mary Jo is the winner. Mary Jo Fiera. 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 I go yeah. with that. Winner of the cabin, Canadian cabin in the woods. Ooh, it should be snowy woods. I have to work on that. But that's congratulations, Miss Mary Jo. Oh, congratulations. Where's Mary Jo live? Uh, I know that answer. I do. She is from New Hampshire. Oh, well, this is perfect for you because you get snow up there like this, don't you, in New Hampshire? New Hampshire. You could, would, this, this would uh, this would be cute, you know, a little cute hanging in a little bathroom or something, you know, a little tiny, you know, a little tiny snowy scene. And, you know, when you're an artist, you can have your winter paintings and your summer paintings. Do you guys, do you guys do that? You have your winter paintings, you put them all over, and then come spring. Out come the flowers and the spring and the happy flowers and the, you know, all that stuff. And all the winter paintings go up the attic. When you're an artist, you can afford to do that because you can paint your own stuff. Yes and yes. Absolutely. And I'm still looking for my red. Um, Winner of the Salvador, Salvador So paint. let's get the Salvador paint set, set out. If people don't know what they're winning, let me just yes. move this. Here's our Salvador paint set. And um, you get one that's very similar to that one. It's something very similar to that. And um, Judy Bennett, Benetti. Vine. Judy Benetti. That name sounds familiar. Benetti. And she is from Florida. Florida. Well, congratulations, Judy. You're going to love these. This is great. Good for you. This will be fun. You'll, you'll love these, really. You'll love, they're wonderful for these, you know, small paints. And look, look how, you know, I mean, it, they, they, they do these a job. Things, they, they come out really nice, don't they? Now, for those of you who would want the, um, the reference photo, this reference photo is available in our Beginner Acrylic Academy, uh, BeginnerAcrylicArtist.com, BeginnerAcrylicArtist.com. And uh, for basic supporters and up, we have all the photos and uh, reference photos for everything we've done th since uh, January uh, 2020. And that's uh, all the QQs, everything. So, which we think is kind of cool. So we think you might like that. And um, so if you are a winner, winner, chicken dinner, uh, please email me your mailing address, your snail mail, as yeah. it was used, commonly yeah. referred to. Here's, I, I want to show something, John, real quick. Um, You're going to show me something real I quick? I want to show something real quick. This is one of the Salvador um, brushes. Liner brushes. And, and it's called a liner brush. And if you don't have a dagger brush, liner brushes are traditionally used for small branches. Now, let me just show you. I have to dampen that right now. What you do with the liner brushes... You see, and you just less pressure, thinner the line. Okay, fatter the line. More pressure, fat More pressure, line. More pressure, fatter the line. Okay, but you can, and they're particularly good. Dagger brush is particularly good for not for real up close short work, but when you need long thin lines. Like somebody asked me the other day about grasses, and you can, you know, they're very good for things like grasses. And, uh, and these are very nice. These, these work perfect with any of the fluid. Their brushes work, work perfect with any of those fluid, you know, paints like that. And um, so you, you can really, um, you see, I mean, look at the thin lines I'm getting from this, right? And um, uh, so, again, fatter the, the, uh, the fatter the line, the... <coughs> more pressure you put. That little brush is pretty good. It does. So, for instance, I mean, just... Again, that's a fluid paint versus a heavy body. You can't do this with a heavy body paint. No, you really can't, right? You really, you really can't. And, um, uh, uh, for instance, I mean, I just want to show you some of their brushes because I think people think I'd, that we, we, you know, I do use them. As a matter of fact, the uh, fall one that we <coughs> just did with the, the was almost Crystal completely Creek, with that. that had a lot of that brush. She used the round one a lot. Here's one of the, their, their fatter ones here, right? 
The fatter round brush. Fatter round brush, and I just want to show you that you can. You can see, definitely put a snow in. You could, you know, just kind of put a snow in and um, something at night, and just bring this on up like this. But you've got a, 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 you can see where um, these, a liner, these are wonderful. I mean, I, I think sometimes because we don't really feature the brushes, because I'm, you know, I use the others, but I think, I don't want you to think that they're not marvelous, because they can, they work really well, see? And again, you just, you need to have the right brush for the right, um, um, for the right thing you're painting. For instance, you, you have a fatter brush if you're painting in something like that. And, uh. Uh, and if you're not, you know, there's, there's this, um, I just wanted to show that because I think these, you know, practice with your brushes a little bit, you know, take, take a moment and practice. It's good to have these six by eight canvases on hand, real canvas. Because you can, you can, you can practice that and, um, uh, uh. You can see where that's, um, I mean, look at the tiny little lines I'm making, see? Which is kind of, kind of fun too, yeah? And, there. Well, I wanted to share that with you. It's something that you might, you might not know that they do, that it does that. And, um, so I thought I would just show you how that would work. And we appreciate that, my queen. Anything and, else? Yeah, I think this was fun. We appreciate your, your comments after the show when you share these videos. We, we appreciate it very much, too. Um, we've got a lot of fall paintings available in the Academy if you're up for painting fall. There's a ton every year. We keep adding more. Again, this was the painting that we did tonight with a little cabin in the woods, snowy woods, Canadian woods. And hope you had fun painting that. And, you know, let us know what kind of winter scenes would you like to see. And uh, give a shout out. Stay safe, everybody. Uh, we're still in the, in, we're still deep in the woods with this stuff. So take care and uh, we will uh, see you next Monday, 530 Central Time. Bye, everyone. Bye.